In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build your first multi-device application using Rad Studio XZ6. We'll say File New, Fire Monkey Mobile Application Delphi. I'm going to choose the blank project template. Uh, we have eight starting templates that you can choose from. I'm just going to start here and, uh, and create the user interface. We can set our design surface to look like whatever device we want. iPhone, Galaxy S4, which are my two smartphones. Ultimately, whatever you build for, it'll show up laid out as you set it up. So I'll start by putting a button, and we'll change its text property in the object inspector to click me. And then I'm going to put down a date edit so that I can bring up a calendar to display and choose a date. Then I'll put a T label down below it. This will be used to display the date that I choose. We can go to the events page and say on click, or we can just double click and it'll bring up the event handler for the on click event for the button. And here we want to set the label ones of text property equal to format date time. And the first parameter it takes is going to be the format string for the date display that I want. So I'll put in four M's to give us the long form version of the month two D's, which will give us the two-digit day, a comma, and then four Y's. And then we'll pass it date edit one, its date property. And then we can go over and set our target to be Android first, my Samsung Galaxy S4, activate that, hit compile and run. I have this uh, VNC viewer that'll show you what's happening on my Android device. I can click on the date edit, and now I get the native date picker that's on Android. And we can choose a date, hit set, and then click the click me button, and it gives me the long form version of the date in the label. Take this same application and just change the target type to iOS device. Here I've got my iPhone. We'll activate that and bring up the iPhone and click Run. Here comes the splash screen. And I can go and click on the date edit. And now I get the native date picker for the iOS device. You can say we're done, hit the button, and it will read the date and display it in the label. I can also go back and look at the iOS simulator version, enable that for iPhone, hit run, and it will compile it for the simulator. And now I've got the simulator running. Here's the splash screen. We'll bring up the date edit, and then click the button and get the date in the label. Now to create a desktop version of the same app, I'll just right mouse click and say add new project. I'll choose Delphi Fire Monkey Desktop application an HD FireMonkey application. And instead of using the unit and the form that was created, I'll delete those. And then I'll say add existing the same unit in the same source code that I used for the mobile app. I'll set the target platform to Win32. Hit Run. Compile it. Do the data edit click the button, and get the date in the label. We'll set 64-bit Windows as the target platform. We'll compile and run, get a 64-bit version, change the date, hit the button, it works. Set the target platform to OS 10. hit the run button. We can go and test it, bring up the calendar, click the button, and it works. Now you can see how easy it is to create an app that works on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android using Delphi XZ6.